A major update of the Mini 4 Pro compared to previous DJI Lightweight models is the presence of an omnidirectional obstacle avoidance system. This feature was previously reserved for the flagship model of the line. In this video I will show how the system works, all the relative settings and a few tips to reduce the risk of accidents. Like the Mini 3 Pro, the Mini 4 has a pair of sensors at the front, towards the back and at the bottom, in the same position as the previous model. But the front and the back ones have a wide-angle vision and are oriented upwards and to the sides for detection of lateral obstacles and the ones above for a 360 degrees omnidirectional obstacle avoidance system. The Mini 3 Pro is not able to detect obstacles laterally and above it, so tracking in a parallel position to the target or orbiting around it can be dangerous. We will see how the Mini 4 Pro handles these situations later on in this video. I would just suggest playing around with this mode around wiry obstacles, as some crashes may happen. But I can see the use when flying around confined space, like abandoned buildings, maybe using some propeller protections. The Automated Pilot Assistant System, APAS 4.0, controls the drone's behavior when it encounters obstacles on its path. In the menu safety of the settings there are three choices for the obstacle avoidance action Bypass, Brake and Off. When Off is selected, the system is disabled. When Brake is selected, the aircraft will stop and over at about 1 meter or 3 feet from any detected obstacle. If we choose bypass, the aircraft will try to find the shortest path around the obstacles to avoid them. When filming, the most frequently used obstacle avoidance action is bypass, as the drone will keep moving while avoiding obstacles for uninterrupted cinematic footage. On the top of the screen to the right, an icon indicates the status of the obstacle systems. It is white when the detection is on, and red when it is not active. The next item is bypassing option with a choice between normal and nifty. In nifty mode the aircraft should perform subtle moves and a smoother flight. It should be used in very confined space for more precision but we are warned of higher collision risks. Further down we can opt to display an on-screen radar map. In the 3 Pro, this map shows a line in the lower part for obstacle below the drone. Another one in the upper part of the screen indicates obstacles in front. In the Mini 4 Pro, the radar map works differently because of the omnidirectional obstacle sensors. It is practically the same as in the Mavic 3. An ellipse is shown to indicate obstacles above, below and to the sides. The distance from obstacle is indicated for the ones above and below when the distance is less than 3 meters. Each portion of the ellipse appears when an obstacle is detected at less than 3 meters. It will be yellow at first and turns red when the obstacle is closer. Obstacle avoidance system is very useful and saved my drone on many occasions when it accidentally ended up close to unexpected obstacles. I recommend using it constantly when filming to avoid accidents. Let's start our test in this pine wood. The tree trunks are quite large. There is plenty of room between them with only a few bare branches. This scenario is a piece of cake for the Mini 4 Pro. You can easily find this way through the trees without any hesitation. It is also able to track me from the front and from behind effortlessly. This is just too easy. Previous DJI models tend to struggle to identify wiry obstacles like tiny bare branches, and I experienced several minor crashes under these conditions. 
so I moved to a different environment. A more dense wooden area by the sea with plenty of tiny bare branches. The Mini 4 Pro handled the situation extremely well. It can identify the wiry obstacles as well as the mighty Mavic 3. I kept flying around this area for about 20 minutes without touching a single branch or leaf. With the Mini 3 Pro I had a couple of crashes with ladder obstacles, which is understandable as this model doesn't have ladder obstacle avoidance. I tested the Mini 4 Pro by going straight into lateral obstacles, as you can see from the red part of the lips. The aircraft always managed to avoid them or to stop before them if a clear path could not be found. Once I destroyed a Mini 3 Pro by hitting three branches above it, due to the lack of obstacle sensors at the top. So I did a few tests with the Mini 4 Pro by going below some three branches and pushing the left sticks forward to raise in altitude. It managed to detect and avoid the obstacles above every single time. I also decided to try the nifty mode. When selecting this option in the safety tab of the settings, a warning message appears on the screen. Increase collision risk. Use with caution. Scary stuff. The difference compared to normal is subtle. I find that the drone flies slightly closer to the obstacles, and the change of directions are not as abrupt. There are a couple of more things to be aware of. When flying in sport mode, the obstacle sensors are not active. In this mode, keep the drone well above all surrounding obstacles. When flying over water, the downward obstacle sensors struggle to analyze a reflective surface. They cannot always avoid entering the water, and even the altitude shown on the screen should be taken with a pinch of salt. Sprays of salty water from waves can easily destroy a drone, so I suggest avoiding flying very close to the water. The performance of the obstacle avoidance system of the Mini 4 Pro is excellent, up to the level of the mighty Mavic 3. I must admit that it performs better than my expectations. Click on this link to watch my video about all the settings for filming with the Mini 4 Pro, and don't forget to hit the like button if you find this video interesting. Thank you.